Are you an introvert? Well, I am. And in today's video, I am going to share with you my personal experience growing up as an introvert. I hope you find this experience relatable to you. But if you have any other experience growing up as an introvert, please share with me in the comment section below. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode. If you are new to my channel, my name is Trin. I am a business and life strategist. I specialize in mental health, micro living, and self mastery. I create content weekly on this channel around those topics to help you grow while building a life that brings you happiness, purpose, and fulfillment. If you like my content, please consider subscribing and click on that bell notification so you'll be notified when a new content is out every Sunday and Wednesday. I was born an introvert, and there were many things that I did not understand about myself. I believed that I wasn't good enough, and I was boring. Because many people told me that why I could sit at home all day and drew all day without talking to anyone, or why I was so quiet, or why I wasn't like my bubbly and friendly sister, I was misunderstood a lot because I could not articulate my thoughts and express my feeling to others, and they laugh at me because I couldn't communicate very well, and that made me become socially awkward because I was afraid of judgment from people. I always felt like I was different, and no one would understand me. And this was one of the reasons why I seemed to look unhappy, grumpy, and quiet all the time. And at that point of time, I didn't even know the term introvert and what is introvert all about, or how is introverts like. So naturally, I live in my thoughts. I usually did not share much about my feeling and what I experienced with others. I reflect a lot, but I guess that is a good thing because I became more mature than others, and it was really tough for me to make new friends and maintain a social relationship. When I face challenges, I prefer to keep them to myself instead of sharing with other people, including my family members. And being an introvert in an extrovert family is even more challenging because I was constantly asked why I like to be quiet. I should have talked more. Or why I only talk when it is necessary, and the thing is, I did not enjoy talking after such a long day at work where I had to talk a lot more. So I appeared uninterested, and it hurt my family. So I struggled a lot to come to terms with who I was and embrace this uniqueness of being an introvert. Not until I learned more about psychology and human behaviors did I understand why I acted in certain way. And I was how I was, and until now, I still don't enjoy being in crowded places and parties. I feel drained when I have to entertain people that I don't enjoy talking to, especially at a networking event. I usually don't do small talk, but I can speak for hours if the conversation is meaningful. I am happy to stay home most of the time and enjoy my own company. I also realize that personal space and me time are essential to me, and if I have to compromise them, I will become cranky and agitated. So I came a long way to get to know who I truly am and embrace being an introvert while working on the areas that make me become a better individual. So while it has been challenging for me to have been grown up as an introvert, I still think being introvert is awesome. Because I have a really good quality circle of friends, I am a good listener. I am observant and thoughtful. I can connect with people very well on a deeper level. I am straightforward, but also tactful because I think before I speak, and I can really learn a lot from my reflections. So those are the quality that I have being an introvert. We should recognize all the quality of an introvert so that we can use them to our advantage. And we should also be aware of the areas that we need to improve on, and working on them will make us become better for ourselves and for other people around us. So here are some areas that I have learned and improved throughout the years. I have learned to speak up, to share my thoughts and express my feelings assertively, so that I can communicate more effectively with others. I've learned how to share my challenges with others and seek help whenever I need, because I know it is great for my mental well-being. I've learned how to schedule me time so that I can be at my best whenever I am with other people. 
And lastly, I have learned how to use my experience and skill to help other introverts who struggle like I did so that they can thrive in life and embrace who they truly are. So that was my personal experience growing up as an introvert, the qualities that I appreciate and the areas that I needed to work on to become a better person. In the comment section below, let me know if you find this relatable to you or if you have any other experience. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.